Hi, my name is Joshua Adibun. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. On today's agenda, I will show you how to create a user in Microsoft 365. Creating a user uh, with or without a license. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that from the Microsoft 365 admin portal. I'll show you how to do that from Azure Active Directory portal. And I'll also show you how to do that um, using PowerShell. So without wasting much time, I would um, like to share my screen so that we can quickly look at steps on how to do this. So um, first, I would um, I will start with the, the portal, Microsoft 365 portal. So um, this is my admin portal. Right, so if you don't know how to get to this place, I did a video on how to log into the admin portal. So all you need to do is um, click on office.com and then sign in with your, um, your Microsoft 365 admin credentials. So you come to users and then you click on active um, users. So when you get to active users, the first way here, I will show you how to create users, to create users twice, um, using two methods rather. First is to um, click on add a user here, and then I use a name, let's say um, team, team, and then team at my domain um, dot com. I want the user, I want, I want um, a password to be automatically created for this user. And then I also want the user to be prompted to change his or her password upon um, first signing. So I click on next. So I get to a point where I need to select um, either location and also a license, right? To assign a license to this user. So um, I, if I like, I can say create this user without um, a product license, and then I can say create this user with a product license. So um, let me do this, create this user with a product license, and I select the license, and I click on next. And then here, I want to create this user without an admin, admin um, role or admin permission, right? So I just leave it as it is, and then I click on um, I go down here to, to either fill up the, the profile, which is not mandatory. However, I can see this is a software um, developer, developer, technical, um, office, island, and then um, I can impute the phone number, Broad Street, Broad Street, and then city Dublin uh, location uh, here island here yeah. come here and then select island island is not showing here yeah island here yeah. yeah, click on next so I have the option or the the the, the the opportunity to review what I just what I'm trying to create before I click on finish adding so I can and then I'm done I click on finish adding so this user is created for me so let's see the user will create a team team so I with a license right I can also create a user without a license I go through the same process team wa team and then I click on next. I don't want to create this user with a license. I click on next. I still give this user, I don't want to give this user an admin right. I leave it that way. And I don't want to fill up the profile information. So I just click on next. So I have the opportunity to review again. And then I click on finish. So this user should be created without any problem, right? Um, so you can see team, team with the license, team, team without the license, right? So the next method here is to create a user um, using a template. 
So I can say click on template. I want to create a new template, right? I click on create a new template. The template name is um, test or say create users for HR department. Yeah, I can copy this and paste here also. And then publish this template. Yes, I want this template to be published to other admins. So other admins can, can decide to use this template if they want. And if I don't want other admins to be able to use this template, I can uncheck this. So I want other admins to be able to use this template. So I click on next. So the, my domain is selected. I want um, a password to be automatically generated for the users that, that will be created using this template. And, uh, and then I also want the users to be prompted to change their password upon first signing. Click on next. And then the location is also set here. I can decide to either create these users with a license the way I did previously, or I can decide to create them without a license. Right, so I'll say create with a license. So um, I'm going to select this, and then I can see the different apps that are available for this license. Right, the subscription I just have selected for this user. I can decide to uncheck the ones that are not necessary. I can decide to leave everything. So I want everything. So I click on next, and then for the user role here, yeah, I don't want to give them any admin. Um, privilege, right? So um, for the profile now, the job title, so for HR, so definitely to be HR personnel. And the department is human resources. Office, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, which month. And then, um, which early country I go here, I select United States, then I click on next. So I also have the opportunity to review this template before creating it, right? When I click on finish, this is done. So doing this does not mean you've created a user. No. So for me to create a user using that template now is to um, come here and then click create, click on the template. And then I can use it to create a user, create users for HR department. And I say, um, hello, hello, hello at my domain. Yeah. I can decide to send password and email upon completion, right? And then add the user's account here, say, Hello at gmail.com. And then um, I'm using this template. If I have multiple templates, I can select template, but I want to create this. And then um, everything is set for me. The job, the, the job um, profile info, everything is set from the template or in the templates I created earlier. Yeah, and then the password, um, sorry, the, the license is also selected. So this is, and then password is automatically created. So this is using the template I created, right? So I click on add a user. So let's see what happens. So the user is added. So let's come here and see hello, hello is created. So clicking on hello, hello, right? You'd see the information, display name, the first name, the role, no admin role is given, and then, um, Yes, and then um, that's that, yeah. Then you can see the devices that this user has enrolled to in tune. You can also check the license, and then you can also uncheck um, or, or unlicense this user. And this user should have a mailbox because it has a license that have um, exchange online, and then OneDrive should be should also be provisioned for this user. Um, yeah, this might take up to 24 hours. So that's um, that about this user, right? So the next one is um, how to create a user from the from the Azure Active Directory. 
So all you need to do, I have it open here, is to on this same browser where you logged into your admin portal, your Microsoft 365 admin portal, right? You open up a new browser, my um, portal.azure.com. I would have said you should go through here, but Microsoft is moving um, away from um, Azure Active Directory. If I click here, I come here and I click um, all admins here to click all admins. I should be able to see Microsoft Entra from here. And then um, coming here, it locks me into Microsoft um, Entra. Yeah. Um, I can also come through the Microsoft Entra to create users and check all users here. And then um, it shows me all users. I can come here to say create a new user. And then I see um, um, Jim. Display name Jim. And then I click on review, create this user. This is a method through which you can create a user using Microsoft Entra, or you can go back to the old Azure Active Directory um, portal to create user. And when you come to, when, when you get here, you see something like this, right? This is the home. So you, you click on the menu here, come to Azure Active Directory, and then um, see, you click on users, and then it shows you um, similar um, page as the Microsoft Entra. So you click on add or you need or click on new user, click on create new user and let's say Ike. Ike. Review. Create. So as you can see, I have um, Jim here. We have hello. Hello. We have Jim here. Let's see. We should have we have team, team, team W A, and then we should have Ike also. Um, let me refresh. Let me refresh this page. So Ike should show up here. So all these um all these are interconnected, so you can see Ike here. So going back to Entra and then refreshing this page from here. Um, I should see everything here also. Hello, hello, hi, Jim. I can see team, team, team WA. And if I go back to Azure, uh, Microsoft 365 admin portal, I should be able to see all these two. Let me refresh. So I see hello, hello, hi, Jim, team, team WA. So these are a method through which you can create users um, in Microsoft 365. The last method I'll be showing you is how to use PowerShell to do that. So I have my PowerShell commands here. So first, um, um, creating of users. You need to install the, the Azure AD uh, module. Basically, let me open up um, this. So for you to create um, a Microsoft 365 user account with PowerShell, you need to first connect to the Microsoft 365 tenant. So you use what we call the Azure Active Directory PowerShell for graph module to do that. So how would you do that, right? You 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 have the next uh, Microsoft 365 um, document that shows you how to do that. And from here, you have the install module, right? A module, then Azure, the name of the module is Azure AD. After that, um, you should get um, a pop up to, to, to click um, yes to all. And then after you're done, you you import the module. After installing it, you import it into your PowerShell. And then you connect with this. You connect and then you sign in with your admin credentials. So when you're done, the next thing is to install. The required software. You need to also install what we call the MS Online module. 
So this connects you directly to Microsoft 365. Yeah, when you're done installing this, you import it also. So when you're done importing it, then you can then um, um, also get the 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 PowerShell CMD legs to create a user account yeah, for one user, or you can create some um, bulk um, users using um, CSV multiple accounts. So let's create a user. Um, yeah, so if I mentioned earlier, you install all these and then um, you, you install the Azure, you import it, you connect to Azure, and then you install the MS online, you import it, and then you connect to it with your admin credentials, right? And then I can use this get MS online account SKU to know the, the licenses that are available in this maintainer. So let's use it. I can use this. So it means if I use this button here or F5, it runs the whole script. So I have a lot of scripts here. I don't want it to run the whole script. I want it to run each line. So I'll use this. Click on this. So it shows me that I have um I have the developer um E5 account um sorry subscription or license available. So I can decide to to use this to create a user. So but first I want to create a user right without a license using PowerShell. So I use the new MS online user um, CMD right. Then I have a display name, the first name, the last name, and the, the UPN, right? Through which um the user signs into Microsoft 365. So when I click on one this user should be created. So now the user is created here, but the user is not licensed. So let's quickly check back here and see. We should have AJ2. AJ2. Yes, we have AJ2 unlicensed. So let's go back here. Let me create a user with a license. Let's see. Um, um, Okay, let me use this and do that. And I can paste it here. I like using the PowerShell ISC so that I can always have my my um codes, um PowerShell codes or CMD let command let in one place. I can always make reference to that. So I want to create create Caleb Seals, first name Caleb, last name Seals user principal name. So I need to change this because this is not my domain. My domain is two, sorry, Z2 NRN. Microsoft.com. So I want the location to be in the US and then the license agreement. I don't have enterprise pack. So I'll come here and then copy this. So it's good you, you have this command let to check, right? So you get the right name. If I should run this because I don't have this, I should get an error. So let's try it. So I get an error. The license enterprise is not valid. So however, if I change it to what I have on my tenant, which is this, um, yeah, and I run it, user should be created. Yeah. So um, you have exceeded the maximum number of allowable transactions. Um, let's see um, this. Um, no, so this is not control. So this is not control. So so um, this is sorry. This is um, where's my license? Where's my license? I did yeah. SKU. 25. So, sorry, let me do this. Z to uh, NRN. Let's try it again. So, yeah, the user is now created. Right. So, I'm um, going back to the admin portal. Let's refresh this. We should see Caleb um, sales. So, we have Caleb here. So, thank you very much for. Coming, um, listening to my my tutorials on how to create a user in Microsoft 365, and then 
Um, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the videos with your colleagues, and then turn on your the notification button for upcoming um, videos. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.